Hello, my name is Anand Bean and today I would like to create a Polymer 3 application, then implement a web standard component without any dependency to Polymer, integrate that with Polymer 3 application, then talk to Java 8 application server. So first, I would like to create a folder with the name uh, Polymer E, uh, Poly E is even shorter, then switch to the folder. And then say Polymer init, which will scaffold a uh, Polymer application. And I would like to use the starter kit, which comes with uh, service workers and um, everything else. So it will take a while. It's not as easy as Java 8 installation. So let's go and create, meanwhile, a Java 8 service. I would like to use the archetype, Maven archetype, com air hacks, um, Java archetype. And I would like to use the 002 version. <clears throat> more most recent more recent one and um, call it service so it now will pull from sonar type central the um, the definition of the um, of the archetype and this is a uh, pom xml with uh, actually two relevant classes and uh, it takes a little bit longer because the uh, Polymer installation blocks the internet. So we have that. So what I can just do here, I can just add the course dependency right away because it is needed. Otherwise, the Polymer server won't be able to talk or the um, Polymer application loaded from the Polymer server won't be able to talk to Java E backend. This is because of security restrictions. So I would use that. So this is actually... And container request filter is just single class because Java E it is it is very very small, so I would just like to save it. And now we have we can take a look at a class, it's just single class which adds the HTTP headers. So there is no additional installation needed, or configuration needed. Um, now we have the ping resource, and let's emit here a little JSON object. How to do that? I would like to create in the entity folder the ping, and the uh, pink has a name and state and this just con for convenience the constructor and I would like just to return the pink and let's say here return new pink new pink name is Duke and state is up so that's all. And then I would like to build this first and then just just build it and then run it on a Java e server. And I would like to choose PyRF5 for that. Per perfect. So it's just the... So now it runs. Uh, resources pink. It even works. And I hope that meanwhile, hey, Polymer is also installed. So um, it pulled the dependencies, uh, Firefox, Chrome, and Selenium drivers. So that took a while, but it should work. Now, <clears throat> first, I need an editor. So we have the editor. And then I would like to start the server. Uh, Polymer serve, not server. And we need the URI here. So, okay, we have that. And we have the application here. And then I would like to split the window and take a look what happens here. So we have the app, and the app cares about uh, routing. Um, so routing means what happens if I push the button here. And what I would like to do is to integrate my app here, uh, my component here. So let's copy here a component, or we could actually create one from scratch. So even create from scratch, air view airview.js and, and our component is a class airview which extends HTML element and uh, we will have to register this this element define airview and we will have to register the class airview and Connected callback is a callback which works like post construct in Java. And what we can do here is um, we can actually fetch the resource here. Let's try that. Fetch. It's a resource. And in case it is fetched, I can just say resource r.json. And then what I can do. 
I can say then I would like to display the JSON this display if it works of course the JSON and what I get back or what happens here the function display or method display is invoked and for now I only would like to print it out. So let's see what happens. And now I'll, I will have to integrate this ear view somehow. So how to do that? First, I need here a name ear view will point to ear view and we enhance the um, navigation ear view. So it's like this. Then we will have to include the ear view here air view with the name air view and here air view so now it's in also included then we will have to import it dynamically because uh, it shouldn't be static it should be dynamic so air view and this is air view air view file so the name will import that and there's like we also have to say air view is actually a valid URI. So we have declared it in air view here with the name air view and we have air view also here. So let's reload the app. Let's see what happens. Reload that. And we have the air view component. And the air view component returns an object with Duke and up. So it seems to work, but uh, it's not very satisfying. So what I would like to do is to output the state of the Duke. So how to do that? I can actually create or destructure the object. This is the right name, state, and it will just, what happens here, the variable state with the value of the state is defined here. And then I can say this, for instance, uh, inner text, um, the state is, and then just point to the state. So reload that. The state is up, so it seems to work. So view, and then switch to air view, state is up. Let's see uh, if we see down, oh, down. Then the state is down. So, um, so what we did, we created from scratch a Polymer 3 application, implemented a standard web component without any dependencies to uh, Polymer, and then um, access remotely a Java E8 server, which we also created from scratch. So use the platform and uh, enjoy coding. See you at AIX TV, AIX.com, conferences, or even projects. Thank you and bye.